Welcome teachers and students to the first edition of our Kent City News. Meet our cast. Tony Grice. Bran Coster. James Jakubowski. Greg Johnson. Jordan Petruska and Mark Stoll. In uh, making headlines this week, representatives from Hope College are coming on the 19th at 10 a.m. So be there, seniors. Also on the 18th, we've got a national or Army National Guard representative coming uh, for anyone who's interested. For senior pitchers this year, you need to get them in right about now. And we got class of 2010 water sales going on in Mr. Wilson's room. Ten or uh, 50 cents a bottle. 50 cents. That's a good deal. There's a free lunch and reduced lunch slips this week. They end, or, and uh, your old ones end on the 28th, so might want to renew them soon. Student government had a meeting this morning, so if you, didn't get, if you weren't there, you probably missed it. Next Tuesday, the 18th Drama Club is meeting for positions. They need to be filled, so talk to Mrs. Brown, uh, Stefan, or maybe Julia Lowe. Kent City Fall Festival starts tomorrow. Check out the activities. Got food, crafts, games, and sports all going on. Good time. Oh, th this just in. R right now, Brand is interviewing the new principal. Thanks, Brand. Hi, I'm here with our new Kent City High School principal, Mrs. Batchelder. We're here to ask her a few questions. Mrs. Batchelder, what's your favorite part of Kent City? Honestly, my favorite part is the small community. I grew up in a small town of Hart, just north of here, and I just really like how everybody just kind of works together and really looks out for each other, the well-being. It's a yeah. very cool place. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, can you explain exactly what the RCT room is? Actually, it's RTC. <laughs> Come on, man. Sorry, Mrs. B. Oh. What he really meant to say was, what exactly is the RTC room? The RTC stands for the Responsible Thinking Classroom or the Responsible Thinking Center. And it's a place where students can choose to go if they just need to kind of think about what they've been doing, um, kind of write up a plan of action to be able to get back into class. Uh, what is your favorite Ninja Turtle? <laughs> well, not that I know a lot about Ninja Turtles, but so far Michelangelo is my favorite one. Nice. Seems pretty creative. Very good choice. Yeah. Cowabunga, dude. You know, I just want you guys to know how excited I am to be here at Kent City and how much I'm looking forward to getting to know each of the students um, over the course of the year. I'm looking forward definitely to graduation and shaking those seniors' hands as they walk across the stage and um, just being a part of everything that goes on here. This is such a cool place and it's a very positive place and hopefully everybody's ex as excited as what I am. Thank you. No problem. Back to you, Brand. Thank you, Brand, for that very interesting report. Now we're going to go to James Jakubowski, who earlier this week stumbled upon a very, we'll say, confused freshman in the hallways of Kansas City here. What was her, what was her name again? I don't, think, I don't think we got her name. We didn't get her name? I don't think we got the name. We don't got a name. No name. No name? Just freshman. Name? Freshy. Name? Right here we have a uh, freshman at Kansas City High School, and uh, can you tell us your first name, please? Um... Yeah, it was boring. <laughs> okay, how about a last name? I don't have one. I don't have one. A middle name? I don't know. Okay. Why don't you just tell me a name you'd like to be called for this interview? I'd have to say Raphael. Okay, Raphael. Well, would you like to uh, tell us your favorite class so far? I don't have a famous laugh. No, no, y your favorite class. I don't have a famous laugh. <sighs> anyway, um, so uh, what after school activities do you think you're going to participate in this year? Krusty's Dirt Demons. 
Do we even have that at this school? No, but that'd be pretty sweet. Okay. Well, uh, let's get right down to it. Have you thought about asking any senior guys out this year? Maybe. I don't know, though. Okay, well, what was he wearing yesterday? Yellow. Okay, then, uh, well, what time are you going to ask him out uh, tomorrow? Noon. And then what class is he in with you? I don't have a famous laugh. No, I mean class. Never mind, we already went through that. Well, uh, this is Raphael here, and uh, you heard it first in Kent City News. Hey, everybody, I'm Mark Stoll with your weather. And I suppose you're wondering why I'm standing out here in my swimsuit. Well, that's because the weather is so perfect, I thought I'd go for a swim. I can guarantee you there is a 0% chance of rain. <laughs> okay, okay, the weatherman's not always right. But hey, that was just a freak shower. <laughs> okay, let's face it, I have no idea what I'm doing. Go to the five-day forecast. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Back again. Sports action this week, the varsity volleyball team defeated Ottawa Hills by 10 points in each, each of their matches. Earlier this week, Tuesday, cross country team came out with a surprising first place, which is pretty top notch. And I, we expect to see everyone at the football game tonight. We're at Kellogg'sville and uh, big game. Hope to see you there. This Saturday in the high school gym, there is a three point and free throw contest from 9 to 11. Finals are at noon. There's a $2 entrance fee and lots of prizes. So you can win lots of prizes if you do good. Right? Yeah. I think so. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, you heard it first on Kent City News.